in life, Ambrose cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Our Lady and St. George Catholic Church, the home church of Ambrose, Philistas, and the beautiful family. Uh, just because there are so many people here, falls on me to give you some directions. The toilets. The party near Yamana near Yamoyam Tokirivo. Mokama vere namwe Dear friends in Christ, in the name of Jesus and of his church, we gather to pray for the late Ambrose Chibuka Katende that God may bring him to everlasting peace and rest. Go for this mass for his repose of his soul, for the family, and for all of us that we may be renewed with hope, hope in the resurrection. Let us be sorry for our sinfulness and ask the Lord to, to Grant us his mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Remember to God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant, Ambrose Chibuka Katende, whom you have called to journey to you. And since you hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son who lives, and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit God forever and ever. A reading from 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. We do not want you to be, we do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest, who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God through Jesus bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are of old. In your kindness, remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Put an end to my affliction and my suffering and take away all my sins. Give me, O Lord, a lift up my soul. Preserve my life and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, because I wait for you, O Lord. Preserve, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Blessed are you, Father Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Oh, the proclaim is the gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Yes. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for coming to be a witness to this send-off of our brother our friend, the husband, a father, a Catholic. A Ugandan, an African. His passing is still very raw and so are in our hearts. It is very hard to take it in fully, to accept it. 
death has stolen a loved person from us. Yes, many of us knew he had been battling with the cancer for about two years, and there was a phase when he seemed to be out of the woods, and our hopes were raised, and we thought that he was on the mend. And then it came back aggressively, and here we are. Since then, our minds are all over the place, struggling to come to terms with it. And 23rd September changed it again. It took us back to 23rd September 2019 when Mr. Roy Insereko fell. The same day, 23rd September, those two pillars went. And before our hearts were got into some shape, last year, 24th September, we lost another pillar, Dr. Joy Chazike. So, 23rd September is trying to ring some negative note in our UMCC. Chitaranyo, Chitarodala. Ambrose suffered grievously but he showed a spirit of faith, courage, and determination to live on. The wife is very prayerful. She was there for him. And faith sustained them all through that struggle. Ambrose is fondly remembered for his infectious and affectionate smile, his trademark. And there are so many tributes which keep going back, mentioning that smile. You can't fail to catch it. It will remain in our minds, in our hearts. Even when life was tough, the smile lit up our contact with him. By looks of it, you are coming here tonight in this big number is a testament to the fact that he has been a man of the people and He has touched our lives across the sections of the community here. He has left an indelible mark of faith, hope, courage, charity, and selfless service. He worshiped here, he prayed from here, and he went around various communities because of his faith, because of his love of God and neighbor. And so his life of service among us has demonstrated the qualities of the Beatitudes 
whom we have heard about in the gospel today. Through his trust in God, he was poor in spirit. He relied on God. And by leading a God-centered life, we can say he was meek. Through his single-mindedness and sincerity in service of God and neighbor, yes, his heart was very embracing. And through his outreach to all of us and he is bid to make peace. You can say he was gentle and merciful. God gave him to us with all these qualities and skills and gifts and musical talent, and he spent himself fully for us. And so we can say he accomplished this with honor. Today, we honor him because he has left us many important and meaningful lessons. He will live on in our hearts and he will keep inspiring us in various ways. Yes, we mourn his passing. Yes, we are grieved. Yes, there's a vacuum, there's a void in our community. But his legacy will endure. And that's why our faith calls us to keep hope in the resurrection. As St. Paul has encouraged us in our first reading, from Thessalonians. We pray that the Lord sanctifies his pain and suffering, which he endured so courageously. We ask that the Lord becomes merciful upon him, looking upon his good deeds on earth to cleanse him, to pardon him, of any transgressions. Thanks to Feriste, the wife, the daughters, the siblings, the friends who have been there to support him all through this time until now. Please keep up that spirit of solidarity. Ambrose, thank you for your faith. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your humor. We miss you. We miss you. He leaves us a lesson to live simply, to love generously, to serve with joy, to celebrate life with a dance, to smile with affection. Ambrose, thank you, goodbye. Let us present our petitions to the Lord. Love it. What is it? We pray for Pope Francis and all the clergy that guided by the Holy Spirit <coughs> may lead the faithful on our journey with faith and in communion of the body of 
of the body and blood of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for peace and stability among the nations, that God may rid the world of violence and war so that people may grow in justice and harmony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, gracious Lord. Lord. <clears throat> for Ambrose, we pray for all those who have brought comfort, care and support to Ambrose's family during his time of sickness and bereavement. May the Lord enrich them with his blessings and grant his soul to internal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord For the bereaved family, in this time of sorrow, we lift our troubled hearts to the Lord, asking for his love and embrace to surround Ambrose's grieving family. May they find comfort. Sorry. May they find comfort and strength in you. We pray the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. We pray for the we pray for ourselves that we may be strengthened and bound together by the Holy Spirit, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Asking for Mary's intercession to our Lord, we say, Hail Mary, Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our Shaitan, and our strength, to listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brother Ambrose Chibuka Katende. Cleanse him and all the faithful departed of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We make a prayer through Christ our Lord.
my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Ambrose Shibuka Katende, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> It is a true right and just our duty and our salvation always and every to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, with the angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave each three disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, remember Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us the fullness of charity together with, with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Ambrose Chivuka, whom you have called today from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united to your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his right. resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and from the divine teaching, we dare to say. Get 
Kitafari mokoro Kitafari By your grace, grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins. Look not on the transgressions of our beloved one, Ambrose, but on the faith of your church. And by your grace, grant us peace and unity according to your will and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the son of peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes out the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy I should enter under my roof, but on the city. The, the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
as one of the chief chefs because he prepared for us a very good sauce of wheat casserole. And when we tasted it, don't ask about the people you have or the other one you know. Without a doubt, meeting Ambrose was definitely something good because he couldn't miss to get a smile, a job, and a laugh because those were his great marks. He loved cooking and at home with the girls would listen to my own family of power of the family. That was his secret. Whether my sister in law was there or not, it was always a happy and joyful part of the music in the house. He just kept the ducks and did his business. Lay the table when everything is done, and you look at whatever was there and you move out. Because everything you do is You just want to make it nice at home. Because the food is just at home. So, because of those characters, Amos Day was always cheerful, 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 and cheerful. Exactly. This is a person that he was a silent PI and a man. He will carry out his concentrations by himself. He will constantly set up the chains. And I looked at it and I could leave my eyes. As if that was not enough, he even did the workshops in the house with all the victims. Put the clothes in, put the books in, and I just got a way of what I was going for. At the time of his the new house in Kenya, my poor brother was in hospital. And he was saying, I wish I could get to my feet and decorate my house. Because there is nothing I can do. And I can do it myself. They need the plan to the time. Unfortunately, this has to happen. Those of you who have done that with the journey, the way a symbol will put together the pieces of food to make a chair or a table was almost in my life in the UK. He attached many people who have touched and many people who are young today, and for this I will give up the pleasure. I am not forgetting that I did the best for him. Because although I did what I did, much more was to come between us. As a lot, I've opened up the bridge and the future looked bright. With the success we had achieved between us, our hope was to see him on it. Our hope was to see his life back and to feel the dreams. But the family, the celebration of the family relationships as years go by may grow or deteriorate with others. The car was always growing higher and stronger in strength. With the enemies of her and support in the family, would say, let us go together. When we say, hey, hey, let's come together, let's come together. He wished the best for everyone, other circumstances, and he gave him a virtue in the family. And those who say, nice, in February 2022, and given the news of his social class. So his treatment started and was on and off in and out of the hospital. At the function of that same year, while we were having a good time, he called him one side and sat to me, dying to me. Sleeping as I was asking him, is it true? And he said, yeah, it is true. And I asked him again, so where does this thing pass and the family? And he said, no, I think I'll get it okay, I'll be okay. But I got to the sun and made my ears to the sun. And everything seemed normal as the young man. Because son had been for my brother, he took a while before he got this. 
when they cross him, they fight on his back. But he remained active and at peace. And so is our God. I will come in to see what you meant for me to deal with him in the difficult times. Call him only to be there with him, meant the Lord to him, but also for me. Because it is they that I go to know that I am his spirit. Before the good fight, you will dispose of the spirits and encouragement from the men of new and apostles' family, even though the sickness was at the very end still. It should be known that at part of the stage during this treatment, a blood clot was spotted in the brain. This time situation was an eventually overpowered his life. There was a sign of and my message. We have been through the road and we appreciate all we have done with the hope of the best. We are a new side of support. We are sure that you as his immediate family who are there for him all this time. The care, the sacrifice, the attention, the hospitality and the attention for all families are calling him to the most. He was a family of the world. You were there. Thank you. Thank you. 
is our sadness and strength, our hope. One day we shall join, joyfully greet him again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. The water reminds us about the baptism which he received in faith. May our prayers rise to the Lord before the throne of God and may his body be purified and may it be a fragrance for the, the Lord. Your response is receive he, his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present, and him, and to present him to God, God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him unto God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Ambrose Chibuka, friend, your servant. In the sight of you of this world, he is now dead. In your sight, may he live forever. Forgive whatever sins he has committed through human weaknesses. And in your goodness, Grant him everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May we rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. In peace let us give leave to our brother to back to Uganda where we'll finally rest at the end of this week. God bless you and the MC will direct us to the reception hall. Thank you. Where's the holy water? The water there?
Sirinavionna, Gora e Sonia me, 